Um, Jack Kirby, Art Adams, um, J.O. Barr, um, let's see, the original Image guys, uh, especially Eric Larson and Jim Lee probably. Um, as far as art, those guys definitely. And then writing wise, um, Alan Moore, um, Chuck Palahniuk, uh, let's see, Peter David, and those are the guys I think that I really like started noting what they were doing, you know, just trying to figure it out. Um, like noticing a style and saying, okay, well, what, what is it the way that they do things that's different and how can I be as awesome as they are? Uh, I, I actually, you know, I'm kind of, I probably like everybody else says, you just never thought of anything else. Um, I mean, in the moment I got out of college, I was trying to get out of whatever real job I had <laughs> to do comics. So, um, yeah, it's just, I don't know. And if I, and I've had moments where I'd, I want to quit because it drives me insane, but then I can't, I imagine I'd probably, I could get to do a real job and then I'd probably just do comics on the side anyway. So might as well just do it for a living, you know? Well, the first comic I ever got was Amazing Spider-Man 230, which was Spider-Man fighting the Juggernaut. And it's a classic issue anyway. But for that to be the first comic I read was like, I mean, if that was the first comic anybody read that, you were ruined for life pretty much. Because um, it was just, you know, it's a classic Spider-Man story. It had like some of the coolest, and I'd seen you know, Spider-Man on, um, uh, you know, cartoons before and the Electric Company. I don't know if everyone was on the Electric Company. But like, you know, I still had an expectation of what Spider-Man was like, and I knew I liked him, but I'd never seen him, you know, like use a web as a slingshot to shoot girders at a guy. Like, it was just the most incredible thing I'd ever seen. Um, so that pretty much, like, you know, I, I'm, I, I couldn't even read it at the time when I got it. I had to have my mom read it to me, and um, I wore it out. And I still have it, but it's just, like, a flimsy mess now because it's been read so many times. So, um, But, yeah, that, and I read Marvel for years, and I read superhero books for years, and, you know, like, around... 10, 11, 12, I started finding weird indie books and getting sort of obsessed with just, you know, underground stuff. And, and um, so I think now I kind of make, I, it's the combined thing of the stuff I loved in childhood with the weird stuff I loved as a teenager. So <laughs> that's kind of how I put them together. Um, let's see. I used to, I was putting out, I mean, I would put out little weird mini comics by myself when I was a teenager and they were terrible, not real, and, uh, you know, folded over typing paper, so, um, but I was ecstatic about those even, but, um, I guess the first real printed comic I did was a book called The Adventures of Monkey, issue four, which a friend of mine made, and, uh, he had me drew a backup, backup called The Freshman, which was sort of like a superhero, um, teen, team book, and, uh, yeah, I mean, I was just, you know, I, I remember feeling so strange and foreign because, it was the first time I drew something the size you're supposed to, and it was shrunk down, and it looked like I didn't do it, and it was weird. It was a, uh, I, I remember being kind of excited about it, and also kind of feeling like, oh, that's not really what I was hoping, it, you know, and which has been my career since then, which is, you get it back, and you're like, yeah, that's not really what I was, uh, but yeah, all right, it's a thing. Well, writing, I don't really have, I don't even know my style, it's just I know how I get things done, but, um, so, I think, Maybe my just style in general is that uh, that I like I like to just make comics. I don't really so I don't have a style so much as this is the way that I get making comics done, and that goes for writing and drawing, which is you know it's more about getting it out and um, I try not to try not to obsess about it and lament about it and you know um, never get anything out because I'm so worried about it being perfect. It's more about filling it full of ideas and excitement and then putting it out. Um, just utilize the internet. You're lucky you have that. We didn't when we started. Um, you know, put something up. It doesn't cost anything. Doesn't, you don't have to make crappy little books on folded type paper like I did, you know, out of the local copy shop that, you know, the only choice I had for cover stock was red or green. Um, so, yeah, I mean, just, you know, make stuff, put it up, uh, get to be friends with everybody. Uh, there's tons of uh, ways to end up with a great project, and sometimes the best way is by collaborating with people you know. Um, so, yeah, just to, I'd say just utilize that Internet thing. Go to cons. I know people seem to be following that one pretty well anyway, but um, that's also a great way to sort of network and get to know people and um, 
if all you have to do to get into comics is go to cons and go to and go on the internet, I think you're <laughs> you're lucky. <laughs> so, oh man. Before you hang up the ropes. Yeah, I've knocked a lot of them out. Like most of my list, I've already hit. Which I'm not bragging. It's just that's how it <laughs> works. The longer you do it. Um, and there's a lot of DC guys that I really like that I don't think get used quite properly. I love any Kirby character, uh, the Demon, um, Omac, original Omac, um, any of the the Creeper, you know, the sort of the weird uh, Ditko characters. I always love those guys. Um, Hawk and Dove, um, and Devil Dinosaur. Someday I want to do something with Devil Dinosaur. I don't know what, but something. <laughs>